The Gavin Army rolls as deep as Team 10. Like, that's what I like to see in the world. We need more squads. Gavin Strong. Right, Gavin? Goodbye, Team 10 house. Have a nice litmus. I'll miss you. So ready? Yeah, I'm going to it is 6 a.m. sharp and LAX is straight juking. Wow. Holiday travel is real. Oh, we're out here though. We've made it this far. I got out of bed, which I'm surprised that I got out of bed, so I think I'm gonna be alright. Okay, so I've preached clear many times and this is only gonna be another one. This entire line is going to be foregone because of clear. Keep going. Oh man, traveling in holidays is just terrible. Being that I travel all the time, including non-holidays, I realize how much more ramped up it is during the holidays. You can just tell people that have never flown and never fly in their entire life are flying now because everything is just half speed. It's like, it's like terrible, it's a terrible thing. But it's fine, I'm not being negative this morning. It's too early to be negative. We are here, I don't know what gate we are, but we're walking in circles. 20C, oh shh. Not this way. Oh wait, oh, uh, uh. No, that's just... So we had a layover in Dallas, which is where we are now. We were supposed to catch a plane like 15, 20 minutes after we landed here, but our flight leaving Los Angeles got delayed even more, so much so that we missed the flight we were supposed to catch here. But our dad, AKA superhero today, has rebooked um, a later flight. It's good and bad because it means we're getting out of Dallas today, which is good. Bad because we're getting into Detroit like way later. We just have to sit in the airport and do nothing. And I'm like, I'm so over traveling, dude. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to travel this much, but also at the same time, like, dude, it is tough, man. It's really starting to put the miles on. All right, well, now we wait because we have an extra like hour here to do nothing at all. Oh, shoot. Oh, hello guys. Yeah, well, I just got a bunch of time to, you know, hang out in the airport. It's raining really hard in Dallas. Yeah, but anyway, I figured I would tell you guys a story. Um, a story, I guess, is gonna kind of pertain to what you're gonna see in my content over the next like week or so, because I'm going back to my hometown now. I don't know, I think I've vlogged one time being back in Michigan. Um, and even then, I feel like I didn't vlog that much. I feel like it was like, a quick trip and it wasn't I don't know it wasn't official and I kind of want to show you guys a little bit more in-depth view of like where I grew up my whole life like some of my hometown friends and everything like that see I'm from a town in Michigan called Jackson it's like 40 minutes outside of Detroit ish it's not like that it's not that big honestly it's like really only known for the prison being there which is kind of crazy but so it's like a decently big place I think like around like 40,000 people maybe live there give take that's like in Jackson I mean and then the community surrounding it probably close to like 100,000 I don't know the exact number but it's not small it's not like it's not exactly a small place it's not exactly a big place at the same time like super humble upbringings you guys will see my house you know we played outside a lot we did like the classic like you know midwest grow up of just like which was like sports playing outside helping our dad with work outside and just like you know obviously we played our fair share of video games they're pretty outdoorsy coming up and like that's just kind of i don't know it's kind of what there was to do there there wasn't a whole lot like we didn't have massive crazy malls we didn't have like indoor skydiving and we didn't have like i don't know for as big as it is it's very small i still feel like everyone knew everyone that's kind of how it was and that's kind of how it's always been um like even going back for the holidays you know there's like two bars in the entire town that anyone goes out to and then when you go there you see everyone that you went to high school with and it's like a massive reunion so it's kind of that style vibe which is why i chose to you know get out of jackson is because i was just looking for more and a faster pace i wanted more abundance i wanted to seek more you know i wanted to find more opportunities i wanted to interact with a bunch of different people um, a lot of people in jackson have the mindset that it's a bad place and that they'll be stuck there forever and that's what ends up happening which is which is unfortunate 
Um, and there are a lot of people who think like that and that's currently happening to them. Like they're getting stuck there and they'll never leave Jackson. And like people say Jackson is a magnet. And so, I don't know, it's kind of that small-ish town vibe where everyone knows everyone and like everyone says they get trapped there, blah, blah, blah. But it's always good to go back for the holidays and see my family. I'm excited to introduce you guys maybe a little more formally to some of my family members. And then like I said, also some of my hometown friends. It's a lot like if you were to imagine Chance and Anthony and Jake. It's kind of how my friends and I are, except we just don't live in LA. I'm only one of like my three musketeers that live in LA, which is why I fit in with Chance, Anthony, and Jake so good, is because they are raised in the Midwest too. Like it's kind of the same vibe. Like, I don't know, there's this weird thing about the Midwest is like anyone from there will tell you it's a weird thing. We always say in the videos, but it's like actually true. Like a weird level of like, not attraction, but like knowing that, like knowing them or like knowing that style of living, or I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of weird. It is weird, but that's the vibe. So my friends are a lot like them. Hopefully you'll get to meet them. I do want to do a video going back into the old places that I worked before I was a vlogger and like talking to some of my old bosses. Like I got fired from a pizza shop one time. <laughs> I want to like go back in there and talk to those people like yo what's up? Why'd you guys have to fire me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did I do wrong? I mean if I recall at the time it was because I couldn't spread sauce good. I apologize. I'm sorry okay. I wasn't that good at spreading sauce. I actually had too much sauce. Too much sauce. So what I'm saying is that there's a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys and maybe explain some dynamics and maybe you guys can get a little idea of how I was brought up. Still comment below if you think we should do a meetup in Michigan at all. Um, I'm still thinking about doing that. Erica's gonna do one in Nashville when she goes home, I know. I don't think Jake's gonna do one in Ohio, but you know, I'm open to doing one in Michigan, so comment below if you guys wanna see that. But yeah, man, I mean, I don't know, I got a bunch of crazy stories, but I feel like I just kinda need to show you guys. It's a totally different pace, it's a totally different style of living. Um, it's night and day different from Los Angeles, but that's why I love it. I'm finally gonna get a chance to go home and like just relax. But I'm still gonna bring you guys very lit content because I have some ideas of stuff I wanna do, like I said. And I think it will be, I'm gonna be pretty dope. But guys, I'll show you more of that when I get back there. I'll be able to actually show you it. Um, but until then, I want to show you what I did yesterday. You know, it was something that was really heartwarming, something that I've never done before. I don't even know how to really react. In the moment, I was just kind of awestruck, to be honest. I didn't really know how to treat it. Like, I did know how to treat it, but I didn't know how to react. Like, it was just a crazy experience. And again, I've never done anything like that. So to be able to do that was just incredible. You know, it's really sad hearing their stories, but um, you know, at the same time, you're really happy for them because all those kids are making progress. Anyway, anyway, um, I want to throw it back to past Cade. Um, and he was at St. Jude's Children's Hospital yesterday and was fortunate enough to meet and hang out with some of those kids, so check that stuff out. What up guys, so we are about to get to Dave & Buster's, which is the first of two locations. I'm sure you heard from future me, but past me will fill you in just in case. We basically are granting a bunch of kids make a wish whose wish was to meet Team 10. So we're meeting them at Dave & Buster's, we're gonna play games, and then after that we're gonna actually go to St. Jude's. Um, the hospital and see a bunch more kids so it's crazy that kids actually wish to see us as like one of the things that they really want to do I'm so stoked that we're even able to fulfill like that for those kids, but let's go in there You all ready to play some games or what? I'm Jackie, I'm home Nice to meet you, thank you so much Alright, we're gonna go play games, okay? Any game you want, you got you just pick We have this, we have this whole place to ourselves, whatever you want What's your favorite? Okay, zombies. Okay, zombies. We gotta look out for zombies. I'm all for some zombie games. That's what it's all about. A girl knows. Zombies! Yes! Okay, two player, nice. I think I got a card here. Oh, wait, we both have cards that are good. Here, you should do it because you'll get the points. Oh yeah, we're in story mode. Oh, oh! Save! Total score, she beat me. Yo, are, did we just rank number one in the whole game? I think so. I think we won the whole game. Yo, we killed it. Zombies, good call. Yo, we crushed it. We were in there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Woo! I'm tired after some zombie killing. That was, that was some serious. Uh, my turn to pick a game? Oh, no. So it goes around and then you jump and, that, and it'll stop on that. But the 900 jackpot. So now we're going for tickets because tickets buy prizes. I think this is the move right here. It says you win. No, that's cheating. No, that's
that's, that's on 500. It gave us 150. That's cheating. Okay, here it is. That's a good spin. I'm feeling it. Thousand. Oh, so close. Got a thousand. Free jackpot spin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's good spin. No, so close. Yo, what are we about to play? I don't know. It's a race car game. Oh, race cars? Yeah. Uh-oh, not race cars. Chad, you don't want these hands. Don't want this heat. Can we all play together? We should be able to. You're going down, dude. You're going down, dude. This is just a paradise. We have games, mini pizzas, corn dogs, mac and cheese, chicken, sliders. This is just, this couldn't get any better right now. All right, I'm officially played out. I played too many games. Well, actually, there's no such thing. But I took my fair share so of games true. at D&Bs. So and now we are off to the next spot. It's gonna be kind of crazy. I've never done this, but it's actually St. Jude's um, in Orange County. So we are gonna hop in back in the van and head to Orange County now. Bye, it was fun shooting zombies with you. We, we killed like like almost like a thousand zombies together, I think. But you had more kills than me. Gamer girls, remember? <laughs> Peace out. Kid. See you, squad. Kid, oh, that's Hyundai. I'm gonna say hi to Hyundai. Say hi to my family. Yeah, I'll see him before you, so uh, take it easy. gonna go over the entire speaker system of the hospital for the kids. I feel like I'm I'm, I'm out here. Dude. I know, I feel like we're on air. Is have, this hot 97.5? Yo, last time I was here I freestyled, right? Did you? I think I did. You may have. Yeah. You freestyled? Yeah. We're funny, dude. We think of the same things. I kids. like toys and I like Santa. Uh, okay. I like toys and I like Santa. I like... Ooh. We can't talk about them. <laughs> oh, look at that's us on the TV. Strongest team on all social media. What's up? Yo, Tony's actually just gaming. <laughs> yeah, no, they actually. I'm actually. Just no one else has a computer. Download Steam right now. What are the future plans for Team Ten? What's in the works for you guys? Ooh. We're gonna be traveling. I think I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> Few more days. Yeah. Uh, I think. I think Team Ten is like we weeded through the quitters. <laughs> and uh, now, now it's just like. Uh, I think we have a North Star now, and we know we, we all are like kind of aligned, and, and you know, uh, uh, Hollywood isn't for a lot of people, and I think that that's like what we've seen with like uh, Team Ten in the past, and uh, now it's like a, it's like legitimately like a family, and everyone has their backs, and all of us have like big goals and and work hard, and um, I think it's just the start. Like we're all so young as well, and. Um, yeah, like I, I always make the analogy. I make the analogy that like we we like just finished tying our shoes before like warming up for the game. So like we still gotta warm up and we're still like got four quarters of gameplay, so it keeps that mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what's in store for you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here in the studio and thank you so much to everyone that came down and asked some amazing questions. Thanks guys again for coming in. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Gavin Strong band. 100% rep. Yeah, you're welcome. Here's a small right here. Can I switch with you for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this, a medium? Yeah. Yo, bro, can I see this hoodie that you have right here? Oh my gosh. Is that the most rare Cade hoodie ever produced? I think it is. I like that, dude. I like that. That's that's good. That's good. Bro, the Gavin army is so strong that there's one of them named Cade. That's my boy right there. The Gavin army rolls as deep as Team 10. Like, that's what I like to see in the world. We need more squads of people. I like this. Gavin's strong. Right, Gavin? I'm trying to get everyone ever to wear one of these things. We are leaving now. Um, I'm leaving Merchless. I gave my hoodie away. I didn't like bring any hoodies, but some girl said she really liked the merch, so I had to pass my, the merch I gave, my, I gave my sunglasses away. I gotta go get some new ones. You gave your sunglasses away? I gave my merch away. You gave your sunglasses I away. I gave my Ray-Bans away. Jake, so. Jake gave his Yeezys away. <laughs> look at look at. What are those? Socks. Because <laughs> no? I gave my shoes away. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. That is crazy, that's crazy. All right guys, let's get on the plane. It is time for that now, so let's go. Here we go. We're going, oh my gosh, terrible rainy day.
you. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, guys. Nathan and I made it to Detroit after a very long day of traveling. It's dark out, nighttime. It wasn't supposed to be originally. But we are here nonetheless. Um, this is where I'm going to end the vlog. I'm going to spend the rest of the night with my family. It has been too long since I've seen them. They deserve my undivided attention. So that is what I'm going to go do. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this treacherous day of travel. Um, I really appreciate you guys, no matter if it's your first vlog or your hundred and... I don't know, it's like a hundred something. What's up, camera? Shout out, gang gang. Yeah, yeah. We are in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? We are. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you like the video, be sure to actually like the video. That's how I know you like the video. Comment below what I should do more of less ever continue doing because I read all the comments in the feeds. It's very important that all of you guys are doing that. Also, these sweatshirts, hot off the press, brand new. We got the keys. We got the keys. You DJ Khaled out here, you got the keys, fam? Oh, gang, that's what I'm talking about. But check the merch, the link is in the bio. I'm working on a couple new pieces for you guys, so do not forget about it the merch and yeah guys be sure you subscribe with your post notifications on because it's on the game better guys take it easy peace y'all thought we didn't jam this anymore <laughs>